morning children in today's class we are going to learn about solution of a differential equation what do i mean by solution of a differential equation it is an expression for the dependent variable in terms of independent variable which satisfies the differential equation a differential equation has no guarantee that it has a solution look at this this is a differential equation y dash represents first order derivative suppose i try to simplify this y dash the whole square is minus of y square plus 1 so if i take square root this will not give me real answer and so this particular equation has no solution and we also say the solution need not be unique. Look at uh, the differential equation dy by dx minus 2y equal to 0. All these I call solutions of this particular differential equation. So these solutions I call particular solution. As I put some number in the place of c. This I call a general solution y equals to c e power 2x where c can be any real number. This type of equation will definitely be the solution of the differential equation dy by dx minus 2y equals to 0. So let us proceed on to exercise problems in checking the given solution is the solution for the given differential equation. Exercise 10.4 question number 1 show that each of the following expressions is a solution for the corresponding differential equation. Subdivision 1 y equal to 2 x squared and the differential equation is x y dash equals to 2 y. Given the equation let us differentiate once with respect to x y will become y dash 2 as it is x square becomes 2x now this is y dash equals to 4x in my answer we are having x y dash so multiply by x on both the sides i will get x y dash equals to 4x into x is 4x square 4x squared, I can write 2 into 2x squared. It is xy dash equals to 2x squared. I can replace y. So, it is becoming 2y. Look at the answer given. It is the same. Therefore, I will say xy dash equal to 2y. Is the differential equation. And the solution is y equal to 2x squared. Subdivision 2 y is equal to a e power x plus b e power minus x. Since there are two constants I need to differentiate twice. So differentiating first time with respect to x y becomes y dash a as it is e power x is e power x plus b into e power minus x is minus e power minus x. Again, we differentiate with respect to x. y dash becomes y double dash a as it is e power x is e power x plus b. e power minus x is minus e power minus x. Already there is a minus symbol so it becomes plus. a e power x plus b e power minus x is nothing but y. So, I can write y double dash equals to y or y double dash minus y equal to 0 is the differential equation. The solution is as given in the question y equals to a e power x plus b e power minus x. Question number 2 find value of m so that the function y equals to e power m x is a solution of the given differential equation. Subdivision 1 y dash plus 2 y equals to 0. The given solution is y equals to e power mx. 
let us differentiate once because I want y dash. So y becomes y dash equals to e power mx becomes e power mx into m. Or I can say m into y because e power mx I can write as y. So what do I get? y dash equals to m y. Put this in the given equation. Given y dash plus 2y equal to 0. In the place of y dash, I can put m y plus 2y 0. y is common into m plus 2 0. y is not 0. So, I can directly write m plus 2 equals to 0 or m is equal to minus 2. The same idea, let us expand to the second subdivision. Again, given y equal to e power mx, we have already done y dash equals to my. I want y double dash also. So, again, I differentiate with respect to x. y dash becomes y double dash m into y becomes y dash. Let us substitute this here. So, what is given to us? y double dash minus 5 y dash plus 6 y equal to 0. In the place of y double dash, I can put m y dash. But what is y dash? It is m y. So I get m square y. Substitute m square y minus 5. In the place of y dash, I can put m y plus 6y equal to 0. In all the terms, y is common. I get m squared minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. y is not 0. Therefore, m squared minus 5m plus 6 is 0. Factorizing, I get m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0 or m is equal to 2 comma 3. The question is to find the value of m. With the first differential equation, I have obtained m is minus 2. With the second differential equation, we have obtained m is equal to 2 and 3. Question number 3. The slope of the tangent to the curve at any point is the reciprocal of 4 times the ordinate at that point. The curve passes through 2 comma 5. Find the equation of the curve. Slope at any point x, y, we call dy by dx as we had studied in chapter 7. Ordinate. For the point x, comma y, x I call abscess, y I call ordinate. Given reciprocal, so 1 by 4 times the ordinate, 4y. So, given slope dy by dx is equal to reciprocal of 4 times the ordinate. So, I can write 1 by 4y. Let us bring y and dy to one side and x and dx to other side. As I cross multiply, it is 4y dy equals dx. To get ordinary equation from the differential equation, let us integrate. So, integrating on both the sides, keep 4 as it is integral y dy equals integral dx. 4 into integral y becomes y square by 2. Integral dx is simply x and whenever we integrate, we introduce a constant, call it as c. This I can cancel. So, I get the equation 2y square equals x plus c. To find c, they have given the curve passes through the point 2 comma 5. What do you mean by passing through? Wherever x comes put 2, wherever y comes put 5 in the equation of the curve. So, I get 2 into what is y? 5 the whole square equals x is 2 plus c. 25 into 2, 50 equals 2 plus c or c is 50 minus 2 that is 48. Putting this back in this equation call 1. 1 gives us the answer 2y square equals x plus 48 and this 
is the equation of the curve required. Hence the problem. Question number 4. Show that y equals e power minus x plus mx plus n is a solution of differential equation e power x into d square y by dx square minus 1 equals 0. The given equation contains two constants say m and n. So we need to differentiate twice. First time when I differentiate y becomes y dash e power minus x will become minus e power minus x. mx will become m. Constant n will become 0. When I differentiate again, y dash becomes y double dash minus e power minus x becomes minus e power minus x and m becomes 0. So what is my answer? Instead of y double dash, I can very well write d square y by dx square. Minus and minus will get cancel. I get e power minus x. Or I can rewrite the problem as d square y by dx square is 1 by e power x. Cross multiplying e power x into d square y by dx square is 1. Or bringing to the same side e power x into d square y by dx square plus 1 comes as minus 1 equal to 0 is the differential equation. And the solution is y equals e power minus x plus mx plus n. Hence the problem. Question number 5. Show that y equals ax plus b by x. x not equal to 0 is a solution of the differential equation x square y double dash plus x y dash minus y equals 0. Here there are two constants a and b so let us differentiate twice. As I differentiate with respect to x, y becomes y dash, ax becomes a into x becomes 1 plus b into 1 by x. When we differentiate minus 1 by x square, again I differentiate with respect to x. y dash becomes y double dash, a being constant becomes 0 plus b into now, minus 1 by x square, the next derivative is plus, cross multiply, 1 into 2, 2, denominator increase the power. Remember, when it is 1 by x, it becomes minus 1 by x square. So, we ought to know the successive derivatives. Minus, when I differentiate again, will become plus, 1 into 2, cross multiply, I write 2, x, the power increases in the denominator. So, this is y dash and y double dash. Let us substitute in the given differential equation. x square y double dash plus x y dash minus y equal to 0. As I substitute, what is y double dash from here? 2b by x cube plus x into. What is y dash from here? a plus into minus minus b by x square minus y. Let us check whether it satisfies. 2b divided by x square x cube as I cancel it is x. a into x a x minus x into b by x square. What is y from the question? It is a x plus b by x. As we take minus sign in, it is minus ax minus b by x. I can cancel one x and square down. Plus ax minus ax cancels. We are left with 2b by x minus b by x minus b by x together. Minus 2b by x and I arrive at 0. So, I started with LHS of the differential equation, arrived at RHS of the differential equation. So, I conclude y equals ax plus b by x is the solution of differential equation x square y double dash plus x y dash minus y equals 0 and hence the problem.
Question number 6, show that y equals a e power minus 3x plus b where a and b are arbitrary constants. Is a solution of the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx equals to 0. Given an ordinary equation with two arbitrary constants, we need to differentiate twice. y becomes y dash a e power minus 3x becomes e power minus 3x into minus 3. b is a constant so it will become 0. So I can write y dash equals minus 3a e power minus 3x. As I differentiate again, y dash becomes y double dash minus 3a as it is. e power minus 3x will become e power minus 3x into minus 3. Now, y double dash equals minus 3a e power minus 3x, I can put y dash. I write minus 3a e power minus 3x into minus 3. This I can replace y dash from equation number 1. So y double dash equals minus 3. This full thing we call y dash. Bringing to the left, it is y double dash plus 3y dash equal to 0. As we rewrite according to the question, I get d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx equal to 0 is the differential equation. And the solution is as in the question, it is y equals a e power minus 3x plus b where a and b are arbitrary constants. Question number 7 show that the differential equation representing the family of curves y square equals 2a into x plus a power 2 by 3 where a is a positive parameter is y square minus 2xy dy by dx the whole cube equals 8 into y dy by dx the whole power 5. The given family of curves as we have written let us call as number 1. It has only one constant, so let us differentiate one time with respect to x. y square becomes 2y y dash. RHS 2a into x becomes 1. a is a constant, so power 2 by 3. The entire thing is a constant, which becomes 0. As I cancel 2 on both the sides, I get a equals y y dash. Substituting a equal to y y dash in equation 1, I get y square equals 2, a is y y dash, x plus a is y y dash, the whole power 2 by 3. As we multiply the term in, we get y square equals 2, x, y y dash plus to y y dash into y y dash the whole power 2 by 3. Bringing this term to the left, I get y square minus 2x y y dash equals to 2 into. This is y y dash. This is also y y dash. Here the power is 1. Here the power is 2 by 3. When the base is same, let us add the powers. I get y y dash the whole power 3 plus 2 that is 5 by 3. Now raising to the power 3 on both the sides as we have 3 in the denominator. I get y square minus 2x y y dash the whole power 3 equals 2 power 3 into y y dash the whole power 5 by 3 the whole power 3. 3 and 3 cancels. Here I get y square minus 2xy. Wherever y dash comes, I can very well write dy by dx as in the question. The whole cube equals 2 cube is 8. Y in the place of y dash, I can very well write dy by dx. The whole power 5. This is the differential equation. And we have proved the solution is y square equals 2a into x plus a power 2 by 3 and hence the problem. Question number 8 show that y equals a cos bx 
is the solution of the differential equation d square y by dx square plus b square y equals 0. The given function is y equals a cos bx. a, b. There are two constants which we can notice. So, let us differentiate twice. First time when I differentiate y becomes y dash. a as it is. Cos bx will become minus sin bx into b. Cos becomes minus sin, bx becomes b. So, I can rewrite minus ab sin bx. Call this as equation number 2. When I differentiate again with respect to x, y dash becomes y double dash minus ab as it is sin bx. Sin will become cos bx into bx will become b. So, I can write this as y double dash is minus b square b into b b square a cos bx let us combine together because a cos bx I can write y from equation 1. So, y double dash is minus b square y from equation 1. Rewriting this as in the question y double dash can be written as d square y by dx square equals minus b square y or bringing to the same side d square y by dx square plus b square y equal to 0 and this is the differential equation and the solution we have proved is y equals a cos bx. Therefore, this is a Solution of the given differential equation.